Hello guys, uh, I'm with Rapid Star, the best AP mid laner in the universe, as he was uh, called back in the day. Uh, we're here with the SAC, uh, shout out to I Will Dominate, as always, and uh, I'm reading from my phone because I'm an unprofessional interviewer. But uh, welcome to the interview. My first question for you is, you talked about an interview a couple years ago. What's up? You're wearing your badge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no worries. You spoke about in an interview one time about how when you coached SKT and EDG, you had this feeling that you were unbeatable. And I wanted to ask, with KT this year, how close have you come to feel that feeling again? 우선 가장 먼저 이제 옛날에 한 인터뷰에서 내가 SKT와 EDG를 코칭할 때 정말 우리는 무적이다라는 느낌이 들 정도로 자신감이 있으셨다고 했는데 올해 KT를 코칭하고 계실 때그 당시에 그런 기분과 얼마나 근접해 있는지. 음. <웃음> 아, 이 잠깐, 잠깐 좀 어려운 질문이라 대답을 제가 잘해야 되잖아요. 일단 저희가 지금 컨디션이나 약간 뱀픽 부분에서 좀 많이 문제가 있어서 그런 부분들을 많이 보완하고 있는데 저는 되게 일단 자신은 많이 있는 편이에요. 많이 있는 편인데 저희가 문제점이 생각보다 많은 편이라 그냥 그런 것만 잘 보완한다면 약간 그때의 기분을 다시 느낄 수 있을 것 같아요. 근데 아직 그때 기분까지는 아니고 그 과정으로 가고 있는 단계라고 생각합니다. Um, right now, I think uh, the biggest problem we are facing is our drafting, and uh, we so we are mostly focusing on that right now. But um, I'm always really confident, you know, I'm always really confident, but right now we are facing a lot of different issues and problems. So um, as long as we can fix all of those, I think we will be able to reach the similar level uh, back then. But right now I cannot say we have reached that, but I think we are uh, on the way. Uh, the other day I did an interview with a player from Europe called Trimby from Fnatic and I was speaking to him and I was very surprised that he was not aware that 10 years ago it was the C9 Fnatic game in the world quarterfinals where Fnatic won in game 3 and it feels like a lot of newer players might not have a lot of knowledge of the history of League of Legends going back and I know that you're very famous for your quadra kill on Karthus in the season 2 world finals. Do you think a lot of newer players should, even if it might not help them with the game, go back and learn about the history of the game and some of the famous players, plays and stuff like that? 제가 최근에 이제 LEC 선수 트윈비 선수, 푸나틱 트윈비 선수와 인터뷰를 했는데 10년 전에 이제 C9과 푸나틱 경기에서 8강 경기에서 푸나틱이 3세트를 이겼다 이렇게 말씀을 해줬더니 전혀 모르는 눈치더라고요. 그래서 어, 선수분들이 정말 롤의 이제 과거 역사에 대해서 잘 모르는구나라고 느꼈습니다. 이제 사실은 어, 빠별님도 이제 시즌 2 월즈 결승에서 카서스로 또 이제 어, 믿지 이렇게 눈부신 쿼드라키를도 만들어 내셨고 어, 그런 역사에도 한 증인이신데 이제 선수 이제 새로 새로운 세대 선수들이 이런 어, 과거 롤 역사에 대해서 좀 공부를 해야 된다고 생각하시는지? 어, 일단은 정말 그 명경기들이 많고 롤도 역사가 길기 때문에 선수들이 이제 기억을 못 하는 건 저는 조금 당연하다고 생각이 들거든요. 예전에 저뭐 16, 17년도에는 그 선수들이 저의 경기를 봤어서 이제 어떤 선수는 정말 선수 시절에 제가 약간 그 롤모델이었다 이렇게 말해주는 선수들도 많이 있었어요. 근데 최근에는 좀 그런 선수들은 많이 없고 그냥 그 라이엇에서 만들어주는 좀 명경기 영상을 보고 아 그런 챔피언을 하셨었죠. 약간 이런 느낌으로 넘어가는 경우가 많기는 해요. 근데 뭐 저는 어쩔 수 없다고 생각하고 그런 데좀 라이엇이 그런 좀 하이라이트를 많이 만들어주면 이제 선수들도 좀 기억을 많이 하니까 좀 그런 식으로 많이 라이엇이 도와줬으면 좋겠네요. I mean, you know, League right now, League Esports is very rich in history. There are a lot of great matches. So I think some, at some point, um, it is pretty natural that some of the players or younger players cannot really remember mm. um, the old matches and highlights. But back in 2016 or 17, when I was like coaching, there were even players coming at me like, hey, like you were my role model. I was looking up to you. So like those kind of things happened a lot back then and these days, it doesn't really happen anymore. So, uh, but some of the players are like, uh, because they watch some of the contents from Riot, they are like, oh, I know you played this kind of champions, right? Mm. So uh, I think this is something really natural, you know, yeah. people not really knowing what happened a long time ago. But I think uh, Riot should be the one making a lot of highlights and montage real for the old gamers so that a lot of people can remember that. So I want to say, Riot, make some more contents about us. That's so good. And tell him, even if people have forgotten, I still remember, even if I was a kid. 
여전히 기억하고 계신다고 사람들이 잊었을지 몰라도 저는 기억합니다. <웃음> Uh, my next question is, I know that famously you didn't really like to play a lot of StarCraft during the time where it was very popular. You preferred to play games like Fortress, and I think Chaos when it came out. Um, but I can imagine still that you would have appreciated the spectacle and how big StarCraft is with some of the entrances. You obviously had a very famous entrance as well with your, with your sunglasses during the World 2 when they announced you. And I actually have a pair of sunglasses here for you, similar yeah. to the ones from the old day. I don't know if you want to wear them for the interview, but they're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, and we're back in season two. <laughs> we're back. I don't think he even needs to answer that, so it speaks for itself. <laughs> 아, 우선은 이제 질문이 뭐였냐면 이제 옛날에 인터뷰를 찾아보니까 빠벨님은 어렸을 때 스타는 별로 안 좋아했고 포트리스나 카오스를 즐겨 했다라고 했는데 그래도 스타 어, e스포츠가 만들어준 그런 문화 덕분에 등장신 이런 것도 굉장히 화려해졌잖아요. 그리고 빠벨님도 선글라스 끼고 화려한 그런 등장신을 했던 적 있고 그래서 이렇게 그때와 최대한 비슷한 선글라스를 구해 보셨다고 합니다. 네. Uh, first, my sunglass was Prada. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> This is only $30. We're not that rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> If this interview does really well, gets lots of views, we get you Prada. Okay, nice. That, that's nice. Cool. Uh, my next question is... So I wanted to ask about how there's a very famous series you played, again going back to history, that a lot of younger kids will have forgotten about. Best of five OGN champions versus CLG EU, where you were very brave and you picked Frogan against Anivia. He was known as like the best Anivia, you were known as one of the best Anivias. Talk to me about that best of five, because you were 2-0 down, brought it back, reverse swept, and you kind of became known as a bit of a mentality king. Is there any like, what is your memory of that, funny stories? Talk to me about that, that series. 어 이제 정말 또 유명했던 역사적인 다전제 결승전 경기가 있죠. 12년도 OGN 챔피언스에서 CLG 이유를 상대하셨을 때 이제 정말 용감하게 프로겐 선수 상대로 에니비아를 픽하시기도 했어요. 이제 서로 이제 세체 에니비아의 대결이었다고 보는데 그 당시에 이제 역수입도 이뤄내셨습니다. 그러면서 이제 멘탈 킹이다. 많은 분들이 이제 멘, 멘탈이 정말 강하다라는 것도 알게 됐는데 그 당시에 대한 기억이 좀 어땠는지 한번 더좀 아, 불러 일으킨다면? 일단은 저는 그때 당시에 라인전을 하면서 아 내가 진짜 이게 경기지만 정말 라인전이 재밌다 이렇게까지 재밌는 라인전을 해본 적은 처음이다 이런 걸 느낄 정도로 그 선수와의 경기가 어떻게 보면 가장 기억에 많이 남고요 그리고 뭐 재밌었던 에피소드는 저희가 2패를 한 다음에 이제 쉬면서 화장실을 갔는데 옆에 그 선수들이 있더라고요. 근데 그 선수들이 뭐 우리 탑팀을 픽할까 못 픽할까 하면서 약간 방심하는 모습을 보고 어 이거 다음 게임 이길 수 있겠는데 라는 생각을 좀 가졌었던 그런 기억이 있네요. 아마 그래서 좀그 선수들이 방심했기 때문에 역습이 나오지 않았을까. So I think I had the best laning phase experience up against Froggins back then because while I was playing, even though it was a competitive game, I was literally enjoying that moment. Like laning against him was a full, full uh, like pure yeah. joy. So I really, really loved that. So I was like, I have never had this kind of a enjoyable laning phase in my life. So I still remember that as my favorite memory. Mm. And also, I have this really fun episode actually happened happened that day when we were down in two games I went to bathroom and I saw the opponent players also at the bathroom and they were jokingly like saying we should play like should we play top team on team next game so I was like maybe <laughs> they're kind of letting their guards down we might have a chance in the next game and maybe that's how we, we won. Wow you had to make a really big decision when you started playing I remember on one of the Let me just double check what it was. The WCG representative match, there was a college ex uh, entrance exam on the same day and you had to choose between which or the other. And a lot of people made fun of you because they said you're choosing the game over real life. 10 years later, your very successful career. Do you think that the path to becoming a pro player in Korea is a lot easier now than it was back then? 어 이제 제가 조사를 조금 해봤는데 이제 WCG 뭐 이렇게 좀 게임 플레이 하는 날 수능 날이랑 겹쳤다고 들었어요. 근데 이제 수능을 포기하고 이제 게임 예선 같은 걸 치르러 가셨다고 들었는데 그 당시에는 아무래도 많은 사람들이 헐 수능 두고 게임을 선택하다니 이런 반응이 있었다는 있었다고 했는데 이제 10년이 지나서 지금은 굉장히 또 커리어 쪽으로 성공하셨잖아요. 그때와 비교했을 때 지금은 이제 프로 게이머 되기 위한 그런 과정이 조금 더 많이 쉬워졌다고 보시나요? 어 그렇죠. 일단 아무래도 이게 좀 전체적인 그 기반이나 시스템이 굉장히 좋아졌기 때문에 일단 지금은 좀 실력만 많이 받쳐준다면 프로가 되기 위한 그런 좀 
단계를 많이 생략할 수 있는 것 같아요. 예전에는 좀뭐 인맥도 필요하고 그 과정에서 또 이야기도 잘해야 되고 했던 반면에 요즘에는 그냥 조금 잘하고 솔로랭크 티어가 높으면 은 그냥 2군에 들어와서 시작을 할수 있기 때문에 요즘에 좀 많이 편하다고 생각되네요. I definitely agree that it has become a lot easier to become a professional player because we have now much better system and fundamentals. So right now, if you are just good at the game, you will get uh, picked up somehow. You know, uh, we can now skip a lot of process that was required back then. For example, you have to be you know on top of the ladder, and then you have to have some of the strings to you know get some contacts, and then you should be able to have really good conversation with the team. But right now, if you are just you know doing great on solo queue, someone. will reach out to you you can start from the you know tier two like second yeah. division and then you can start climbing up so it's a lot easier cool my final question because we've got a wrap is i'm sure your players have a lot of respect to you now as an elder as a great uh, having achieved so many things but do they know the stories of you trolling in na solo queue with hotshot gg way back in the day 이제 많은 선수분들이 바벨님을 굉장히 존경하고 정말 위대한 어, 업적을 갖고 계신 우리 코치님이라고 존경할 것 같은데 혹시 선수분들이 옛날에 이제 북미 서버에서 하샷 지지와 이제 솔랭에서 트롤을 하셨다는 것도 선수분들이 좀 알고 있나요? 어 선수들은 아마 모를 것 같아요. 요즘에는 그, 그 트롤이라는 거에 굉장히 좀 민감하기 때문에 선수들이 조금만 실수해도 되게 그 팬분들이 민감하게 반응을 하시잖아요. 근데 그때는 좀 그런 그 트롤링을 하고 누구와 싸우고 이런 요소들이 팬분들 입장에서는 되게 재밌는 요소였기 때문에 저도 좀 약간 신나서 더 했던 것도 있고 한데 요즘에는 제가 뭐 그랬다고 하면 선수들이 어 진짜요? 어 그때는 그래도 됐어요? 라는 좀 반응을 하지 않을까 하네요. I don't think they know because these days trolling is a, like a very sensitive issue. Yeah. But um, so like one small mistake and then, then it was an awful. Yeah. Back, one small mistake and fans will go like crazy, like, oh, how yeah. dare you do so on solo queue. But back in those days, you know, trolling and having fights and like having some drama was an entertainment for everyone. So <laughs> that's also kind of like something that kept me going as well. Yeah. I kind of enjoyed it all. So if I tell them like I did this kind of stuff in the in the old days, they will. I think the players will be like, really? Like, was that even allowed? Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell him that I take a lot of inspiration for trolling from him? Uh, 많은 트롤링 영감을 받으셨다고 합니다. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, cool. I think we have to wrap. I had some more questions to ask you, but we'll have to do it another time. It was really lovely speaking to you, and I really look up to you. And uh, good luck in the rest of the tournament. 이제 질문이 사실 더 남았는데 지금 마무리해야 돼서 다음번에 또 좋은 기회로 찾아뵙으면 좋겠고요. 이번 월즈에서도 선전을 빕니다. 감사합니다. Thank you. Bye bye. Peace. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> you can keep them if you want. It's up to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you keep. Lucky. Yeah, thank you. Maybe you wear on stage. Yeah, Win. Lucky item. <laughs>